Hello everyone out there. It's John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. And we're going to be doing another review today. Today's review is actually going to be somewhat of a challenge according to uh, the place that's selling it. And that place is Arby's who incidentally has the meats. They should probably get that looked at. Um, so what kind of challenge is this? Well, this is the Take the Diablo Dare Challenge, which has a TikTok uh, QR code. It says, scan the code, eat on camera, try not to sip the shake. It says, try not to sip the shake because it comes with a milkshake. No matter if you buy just a sandwich or the combo, it comes with a snack size milkshake. Where is my milkshake? Why, well, it is still at the Arby's that I purchased a sandwich from because few reasons, some of which were my own fault. So typically when I review from Arby's, uh, I, I do it because of convenience and that is when I go to my eye doctor uh, and I don't have another eye doctor appointment until late February. This challenge item here only is going to be available until early February. I'm not sure on the date on that one. But uh, I wouldn't have the opportunity to have that convenience. In the city of Chicago proper, there are actually three Arby's locations. One is on North Wells Street downtown. It is a, a small one that you pass up and you would miss it if you didn't know it was there. Um, it's like in between a Mr. Submarine and a uh, sushi pokeball place uh, and a Hertz Rent-A-Car all on the side street downtown. Um, that's the first place I actually went to. Um, you have to pay for downtown street parking. There's no drive through And I kept on like, I actually circled the block three times trying to find a spot. Found one parked, walked up to it, and although there was lights on, the sign on the door said this is closed until further notice. And nowhere online did I see that it was closed. Uh, I think it was closed or due to staffing issues, um, but it's closed. So paid for the downtown parking, didn't get it. Then. The other two locations, one is in the Thompson Center, which is like one of the busier downtown locations. It has City Hall, it has uh, the governor's downtown office, it has uh, a bunch of different like important, like I think like the secretary's office, the uh, comptroller's office or something, a bunch of important offices. It also has... Uh, a, a very important train station. It's one of the more densely used train stations downtown because uh, it connects to the Pedway and all those important places. So it's very highly used. There's absolutely no parking around there. Um, so it would be impossible for me to try. The last one is at the Ogilvy train station. This is a metro train station. Um, I avoided that because it is a busy location. There is limited parking around there. But <clears throat> I was already around the area. The other place is closed. Wasn't going to try for the Thompson Center because I'd have to park further away and walk all the way there. So went to the Ogilvy Station, found a parking spot a block away, walked to it, went inside. The Arby's was the last place on the very end of the food court place. It's the only place. It's the only one that you don't see like a storefront to, because it's kind of like around this weird corner. And if you, there was like a sign that says Arby's above the corner, so that's how you actually know it's there. So, walked over to it, saw they had the Diablo stuff, so I was happy there. Ordered it. I got the chicken version. You can also get it in a brisket sandwich version. I don't care for Arby's brisket. Uh, it's a little bit tough in my opinion. And uh, if you're going to get beef, just get the roast beef. They have good roast beef. Get the roast beef sandwich if you're going to get beef. Stay away from the brisket. Make your own brisket or go to a place that actually does brisket. 
But uh, their chicken sandwiches are eh, not bad, so got it on the chicken. They asked me what shake I wanted. I assumed it was vanilla because all the things say vanilla shake. But you can choose chocolate or jamocha. Chose jamocha because that's my favorite out of the three shakes they have. So, waiting for my food. And I'm also like on my lunch break, so I don't have like a ton of time to do this. So, once it comes, there's like, this is your meal. She hands me the bag. I say, thank you. And I grab it and turn around and go. It's not until I'm in my car, like halfway back home, that I realize this should have come with a shake and I don't have it. Do I want to turn around, waste more time, pay for parking again? It would be the third time I paid for parking this time, this time period to walk another block, to go in there, to pick up the shake, go back to my car, turn around and drive home. No, I don't want to do any of those things, so I did not. And instead, if this is too hot, I'm just going to use this Splendrift um, Sparkling Water with Real Squeeze Fruit. Um, this is my favorite type of sparkling water currently, the Splendrift brand. It's not zero calorie. It does have 17 calories per can, which is 3 grams of sugar, 4 grams of carbs. It comes from grapefruit juice, orange juice, lime juice. Um, that's where the sugar comes from. There's no sugar, there's no fructose corn syrup. And it gives you just enough sweetness, so it's like, you know, you get something unlike LaCroix. And then, if it's really bad, I have this, which is a ice cream bar, which I'll probably eat anyway afterwards. Um, you see, it's a Magnum bar because I get my ice cream and my condoms the same way. Anyway, the uh, in, most interesting thing about this, it's called the Diablo Dare Challenge, right? Diablo the Devil. Look at what my ticket number on this thing was. Uh, uh, can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. Come on. It's not going to show you that that number is zero six 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 zero. The mark of the beast. Now you can't see me. This thing takes a long time to focus in and out, doesn't it? Right here. Right here. Yeah. You can see that there. I mean, you can't see here. At some point, you will be able to see me again. But like while it's there, let me show you a close-up of the sandwich. You got a, a red chipotle bun. Under that, you have uh, Diablo sauce with chopped jalapenos. You have a, I think it's like a habanero pepper jack cheese. And then there's also like a dusting of some kind of spice. You get your chicken. Underneath you have pickles and lettuce. According to... Um, Arby's, which is the name of the place I'm at. They say this this is the spiciest QSR food item ever. QSR means quick service restaurant, which is a, a way fast food places try to sound fancy. Um, anyway, I'm going to scan the uh, QR code and see what happens. Okay, what it do? Oh, it opens a link to TikTok. So I might be making a TikTok while I do this review. It'll be like the review within a review thing. Okay, it goes to Arby's. Scan the code, eat on camera, try not to sip the shake. Okay, I'm at Arby's. Follow. 
Okay. No, I do. It just went to Arby's TikTok. Scan the code. Eat on camera. So I scanned it. There's no like button on here that says like, okay, now make your TikTok. I've only ever made one TikTok in my life. It was to try to win a contest, which I did. That was the Pepsi Cracker Jack uh, review that if you're a, a follower of mine, you've definitely seen. Anyway, don't care enough to try any further. I tried TikTok and Arby's. It says scan, eat, try to sip. That's three steps. I did one. There was no obvious second step to follow there, so your fault, not mine. Let's see if this is the hottest, spiciest fast food sandwich ever. The Arby's Diablo Dare Challenge. Here we go. Is there some spice? Yeah. It's definitely not like anything killer. Let's keep going. I really like the pickles on this. You can see the inside of the bun is red so you can see that it's it's spicy they didn't give this a scoville heat unit rating at all or any like evidence to back up their claim that this is the spiciest fast food sandwich item hmm. so I know specifically that there are little pieces of jalapeno Now jalapenos can go up to about 8,000 Scoville heat units, which for a lot of people can be very spicy. And again, that's like the top range of a jalapeno. So like, so, you know, sometimes you bite into a jalapeno and you're like, this isn't spicy at all. And then you bite into a jalapeno, even in like the same package, and that one's really spicy. The, the really spicy ones are the ones that are at the 8,000s. I wonder, like, what is the spiciest part of this? Because it has bun, the sauce, the cheese, and the jalapenos. I don't think it's the bun. The hottest thing in here has to be either the jalapenos or the sauce. They do advertise... But the sauce has ghost pepper in it, I think. Would have been a good bit of information for me to have. Good thing I have my handy dandy computer here. When I look up your sandwich, why isn't the first thing like your webpage? 
Ho, 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 ho. Man, you know, we're going to be time off, friends. When you go to the sandwich on the page, all it says is, online order not available at this location. Okay. Chicken filet, pickles, Diablo barbecue, free snack, vanilla shake, which you didn't get. Ghost pepper jack. The ghost pepper jack is in the cheese. Dice jalapeno, Diablo bun, lettuce, mayo, and fiery seasoning. Crispy chicken with ghost pepper jack cheese, fiery seasoning, fire roasted jalapenos, pickles, lettuce, mayonnaise, and a Diablo barbecue sauce on a toasted red chipotle bun. So if there's ghost pepper and the cheese, that should be the hottest thing. Definitely don't taste any ghost pepper in this. To me, the smell and taste of ghost pepper is like burning plastic. It's actually tasty. It's like a spicy barbecue. Okay. Is it spicy? Yeah. Is it the spiciest fast food sandwich? Maybe. It might be the, fa the spiciest fast food sandwich. Hmm. I'm trying to think of like if there's anything spicier. There is like a good amount of burn left in my mouth. I will say it's something that grows and I think maybe if I bit into a different part of the sandwich earlier, um, I might have felt the heat earlier because I think the hottest part is the, the Diablo barbecue and or the fiery seasoning because one of those last bites I got was very saucy and that left a good amount of heat on my tongue. Um, it's not painful heat at all. It is a, a warm sensation. Um, I think for people who are used to fast food spiciness, they might consider this a challenge uh, sandwich situation. But there's so many other like real spice challenges out there that this is really not a belonging in any like hashtag style fire noodle challenge or eat a pepper challenge or anything like that. Um, the heat uh, in my mouth is, I can already feel subsiding. Um, there is a little bit of nose runnage, which is common for some, for some spiciness. One, one thing that also happens when I eat spicy food is I'll get sweat here or here. I'm not feeling any kind of sweat there. Um, another extremely heat uh, thing that I get is hiccups. And as you can hear me, no hiccups have started. So it's at the level where you're going to get a good amount of heat in your mouth that's not going to be painful, uh, especially if you've eaten spicy food and liked it before. This one won't really be a challenge. So you're gonna get some heat. You might get some some uh, nose leakage, but no sweats, no hiccups, no pain. Other than that, the sandwich was good. I liked the sauce. It had like a sweet barbecue, but it had a good amount of heat to it. And to me, that's really actually better because like when it comes to challenge spicing spicy things, 
it's like a novelty. Like you're trying to get those people who do that for a living almost. Like they regularly eat that really spicy stuff or they might even grow their own um, ghost peppers. This one is is definitely one of, if not the hottest fast food sandwich at least that I've ever experienced or had. Um, if you've had a fast food thing that you think is really spicy before, let me know. Uh, if, if you consider Buffalo Wild Wings to be, I think they are kind of a QSR place maybe. I know they do sit down with dining with cocktails and stuff, but it's not really, I don't really call it like a maybe. But their, their extremely spicy sauce for their wings is, is actually uh, a challenge for sure. Um, this is not that spicy. This is, let's see, I'm trying to think of like the best of their sauces to compare it to. So they have like the, they're like challenge one. Then they have uh, mango habanero. And then below that, I think is their hot maybe. Um, it's probably as spicy or slightly less than their hot sauce. Like I said, it tastes good. The pickles go really well with the barbecue uh, sauce. And um, the chicken is good. It's, it's pretty crispy. Uh, the lettuce mayo is there, so it didn't really like hurt it. Um, the jalapeno, roast jalapenos, the cheese. Those things I didn't really taste as much as just that, that barbecue sauce. The barbecue sauce on it really set all the flavors. Um, I don't know if you re remove one or the other, if I would have a different experience um, without the sauce or not. But anyway, there you go. That's the Diablo Dare Challenge. This is not the brisket one, even though the sticker says so. I have tried the chicken sandwich. If you've tried the chicken or the brisket, let me know what you thought in the comment section below. And give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one. So long. Bye bye.